Making your first game used to be extremely difficult. It often required learning complex software, understanding unfamiliar coding languages, and spending hours researching problems without clear guidance. But now, now we got Roblox. And this ain't your little cousin's tycoon simulator anymore. Roblox in 2025 is a full-blown development ecosystem. It's the starter pack for the next generation of devs. And honestly, I think it's the new meta. Let me tell you why. All you need to start is a basic laptop and a Wi-Fi connection you don't share with 10 Fortnite playing siblings. Roblox Studio doesn't require an RTX 4090 or 32 gigs of RAM, it just works. And you don't need to be the goat at coding either. Lua is like the baby food of programming and I mean that with love. It's simple, readable and forgiving. You mess something up, it's not gonna blue screen your computer. Just get an error message that tells you, hey dumbass, try again. And let's not forget AI. If you know how to describe what you want like a semi-coherent human being, you can get ChatGPT to help you build combat systems. UI, pathfinding, you name it. Let's name drop some legends, Shindo Live, Blocks Fruits, they're both anime games made by fans and they both turn into billion visit monsters. Pet Simulator X, say what you want about monetization but it made bank, stupid amounts of it. These were made by big studios at first, just some dudes with a dream and probably clipping cafe independence, who knows. Roblox is like a Vegas slot machine for devs, except instead of luck, you just need dedication and the willingness to touch grass occasionally. You can start from nothing, build a dumb idea like milk delivery simulator and then suddenly go viral because tiktok thought it was funny that's the power of roblox's ecosystem it's built to reward creativity not just 4k graphics and hype realistic hair physics you think you're making just a fun little anime battler but guess what you're learning game loops progression systems economy balancing and user feedback flow you're becoming a game designer without even realizing it i built a farming game once right but it was simple then i realized i had to balance progression shop prices land upgrades and NPC dialogues. I was accidentally doing economy design and user experience testing and I didn't even know it. What started as funny chicken simulator turned into a spreadsheet nightmare and I loved every second. And AI? That thing is your 24-7 unpaid mentor these days. Messed up a for loop? AI's got you. Don't you understand raycasting? Can't remember your own variable names? AI is like, I got you bro. Yeah, yeah, we all know success isn't guaranteed, but I'd rather grind on a platform where a kid made a million of bees than one where you can publish without paying $100 for a license. And yes, I'm talking about you, Steam. And the Roblox grind is weirdly motivating. You see your place visits go up. Well, I guess that happens regardless if you build a game on Roblox or not, but plus you can also very easily build a small community. You start caring, you start learning faster, and next thing you know, you're actually pretty good. You don't really get that feedback loop in Unity until three years later when your depression project finally compiles. You ever seen a 13-year-old build your collab with a 22-year-old scripter from Brazil who's working with a 17-year-old UI artist from Indonesia? That's Roblox. People out here making games with zero prior experience and zero budget. You post your idea in a dev discord and two hours later you got a team of five and some offering to animate your sword swings. It's chaotic, slightly sketchy at times, but might inspiring. I'm guessing you're 16 or somewhere around that age. You want to make games, you want to be creative, you want people to play what you build, but everything else looks like a mountain of pain. Unity has licensing drama, Unreal looks like it needs a quantum PC, and your motivation hanging by a thread. Roblox is the rope you grab before you fall off that I'm never gonna make a game cliff. Harsh, maybe, but I've seen too many people give up on game development because the barrier to entry was too high, and Roblox just lowers that bar so low that it's underground, really. And that's a good thing. You don't gotta worry about servers. You don't gotta worry about how to make your game multiplayer. You can easily monetize it, easily access data. It's all there. The barrier to entry is as low as it can be. Also, don't get discouraged because of the whole Roblox is just a kid's platform thing. You wanna know something? So were YouTube and Minecraft once. Now look at them. Roblox is evolving. They got voice chat, age rating, marketplace tools, open source community models, actual dev brands, and that's just surface level. It's not just a stepping stone anymore it can be your main gig so should you start on roblox if you're a starter developer yeah because it works because it teaches you because it connects you because it rewards effort and because let's be honest you're tired of daydreaming about making a game and never actually doing it so open studio start typing break something fix it learn scream into your pillow keep going and maybe just maybe your dumb idea will be the next viral hit if you're already working on your game drop the name below i might check it out keep leveling up fam be safe and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.